What's you the most? What haunts me the most is that if I would have died at 300 pounds, let's say I was 75 years old, I got to heaven, and God has a chart like that of everybody's life. God knows all. Let's say that. I don't care what you believe in. It doesn't matter. I'm not judging anybody. But let's say my thing is God. You get to heaven, I'm 300 pounds, I sit down, I was a cockroach, terminated my whole life, and we're sitting down just like this, you're God and I'm David. And he gives me that chart, and he says, look at this. Now look at this chart, and on the chart it has all these different things that my name's on. But these things aren't me. I was going to change the world, I was going to, I was going to set records, I was going to be a Navy SEAL, I was going to be... All these things in the military that I accomplished, you're going to get the BFW award, you're going to be honored here, honored there. And I'm like, God, I was, this isn't me. Like it says, David Goggins, I was an eco lab guy, I sprayed for cockroaches, and I'm 300 pounds. It says here, I'm 185. It says here, I got a, a, a bachelor's and a master's. It says all these things. And God goes, no, that's who you were supposed to be. Wow. My biggest fear in life is that there is a final resting place in this world. There is a final judgment. And you talk to something much bigger than you. I don't want to sit down and have a conversation with someone. There's something that says, you're in heaven. This is what you should have been on earth. 